Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Okay, we're out of July. We're into August now, and it's just hot. We're not quite at 100, but boy, it's not really cooling down much. Temperatures today in the mid-90s, and we're going to be consistently hot. That's going to be the weather term heading on through a good portion of August, and I think we're going to end up the season here with a well above average summer. That's the way it's starting to look right now, but skies are crystal clear in the Ford Dealers Tower Cam atop the Grove Hotel. A little hazy out there, but as far as cloud cover goes, not much moisture around. That may change towards Wednesday, Thursday into Saturday. Saturday as well, but all in all, I do expect again a lot of sunshine and the hot temperatures next couple days, especially we're really going to be feeling the heat. Let's take a look at the uh, computer charts here, and you'll see here uh, temperatures in the mid to upper 90s. So we're getting that extra few degrees. When you go from 94 to 98, you really notice that difference. And there's a 97 in Ontario, 95 in Boise, 98 in Mountain Home, 94 in Twin. There were some storms to the south of Twin uh, down near Jackpot. There was an isolated storm. There could be some clouds tracking to the north, but most of this will stay in the higher elevation. Elevations. Well, Stanley and Sun Valley are in the, are in the 80s. Uh, I should say uh, McCall is in the low 80s. Sun Valley Haley is right around 90 degrees right now. Pretty pleasant evening out there, but watch out. A red flag warning is in effect. Very low humidity and gusty winds until 10 o'clock. Red flag warning, meaning existing fires could have some rapid fire growth and any fires that do start. The same situation there, and that would be for the east central mountains primarily. Satellite picture shows those few storms in northeast Nevada. They're going to kind of hover in those higher elevations. That's about it. Staying dry across southwest Idaho. And the future cast shows through tomorrow. Look at tomorrow afternoon. Gray is cloud covered. You don't see anything except up here in Montana. Clear skies, lots of sunshine tomorrow. Another very hot day uh, moving into the Treasure Valley and all of Idaho. Notice Wednesday, a little bit of a change. Some energy coming up from the north. And look at this, a couple little green spots. A sign that there's an isolated storm possible. Just a 20% chance is what I'm giving it for Wednesday afternoon. As we head towards Thursday, maybe a similar situation in the mountains. But all in all, most places won't see much precipitation coming in. Let's take a look at that forecast chart for tomorrow. That warm weather really building on in. The temperatures will continue to heat up. So as you head outside this evening, expect sunshine in most locations. The mountains will be very nice with temperatures in the 70s. Treasure Valley will be hovering close to 90 degrees. You'll see 90 degrees in the Magic Valley as well as we fall, go through the evening. Still pretty hot out there in the valley locations. Tomorrow, mid-90s again, 97 Mountain Home. Boise, uh, Meridian around 95, 96. Plenty of sunshine, a light breeze. Pretty much what you saw today is what we're going to get during the day tomorrow as well. In the West Central Mountains, more of the same. Warm and dry in the uh, higher elevations around 5,000 feet. Boise County generally on the hot side with temperatures in the 90s. Stanley looks nice again at 81. Sun Valley 83. Look at Stanley in the morning. 33 degrees. When it's dry, those low temperatures can really drop and that'll be the case. Some slightly cooler mornings. 50s around Shoshone. We get to 91 in the afternoon. Twin Falls in uh, good and getting to 91 later in the day tomorrow as well. The extended forecast shows the hottest day probably Wednesday. 97, 98, maybe touch 100 in some locations. Slight chance of some storms in here. And the only cool down we get is towards next weekend when temperatures go back to the lower 90s. So we're staying in the 90s. And I looked ahead to next week and maybe the week beyond. And I'm still seeing mid to maybe upper 90s, some lower 90s. I don't see any of those little cold fronts that come through to give you that little break that we had last week. No. It's going to be almost monotonous, the heat. Steady as she goes. <laughs> exactly. And hot. All, yep. right. Thanks, All right. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, Scott. Coming up on today's Six on Your Side, a Grand Slam suspension from Major League Baseball, but one of the game's biggest stars isn't taking the unprecedented punishment without a fight. And still ahead, he lost on Jeopardy, maybe, but we'll show you why this final Jeopardy result has fans up in arms.